You got down here fast. Today is the day I'm meeting Miss Mimi. Uh, meeting Miss who? Miss Mimi, the dance teacher at my new school. Miss Lily says she's wonderful. Now chew faster, Polly, so we can go. Angelina, please don't rush your sister. You'll get to school on time and everything will be... Wonderful! I just know it. I'll be Miss Mimi's best dancer, just like I was with Miss Lily. Angelina, what a beautiful and talented young dancer you are. Oh, thank you, Miss Mimi. You're going to star in my autumn show, and my winter show, and my spring show. From now on, the star of every show will be Angelina. 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 Uh, oops. <laughs> I was just practicing my pirouettes for Miss Mimi. Me too. <laughs> Mum, do you think Miss Mimi will teach me to do a grand jeté? That's what I was working on with Miss Lily, and I was getting really, really close. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, maybe not that close. With a lot of practice and Miss Mimi's help, I'm sure you'll get it soon. Thanks, Mum. Angelina, wait for me! Hi, Vicky. Hurry! Why are you in such a rush? I can't wait to finally meet Miss Mimi. Oh, she's so amazing. I hope she'll be as amazing as my old teacher, Miss Lily. You can do all the grand jetés you want in here. You must be Angelina. I'm Miss Mimi. Oh, no. I've heard so much about you from Miss Lily. Um, did Miss Lily tell you I can do an arabesque? Because I can. And a sauté. And a pas de char. She was just about to teach me a grand jeté. So we can work on that right now if you want and... Wait! Not so fast, Angelina. What did Miss Lily do at the beginning of class? Oh, right. Warm up, of course. All right, class. Warm up time. And now for some music. How about a little jazz? Jazz? In a ballet class? Uh, Miss Mimi? Miss Lily always played classical music like Mozart during warm-up. Really? But I just love jazz. The smooth, mellow sounds just make me want to stretch. <sighs> Not first position. Stretch! Sorry. We always started with first position. Now the cool jazz sounds are inspiring me to bend way back like a noodle. Can you be a noodle, Angelina? Uh, yes, I'll try. Hmm. Let's all touch our toes. <sighs> and wiggle our nose. Angelina, I do things a little differently in my class. Won't you give my way a try? Yes, of course. And now let's all do a jazzy pirouette. Mm. 
that looked like a ballet pirouette. With Miss Lily, we always did plain pirouettes. Without all that jazz. Lunchtime. After we eat, we'll meet in the lunchtime theatre. Good morning, Maslings. I can see you've worked very hard collecting paper for recycling. You bet, Ms. Mimi. And this year we're going to work even harder. Now you're old enough to help with the fundraising project. Awesome! The Chipping Cheddar Earth Club wants to plant 100 new trees all over town this year. We'll be raising money to help. I wish we could raise money by dancing. In fact, you can. Really, truly? Really, truly. We're going to have a dance-a-thon. What's a dance-a-thon? People make promises called pledges to give money for every hour of dancing. Sometimes dancers even get to dance all night. That sounds too good to be true. Angelina Ballerina has been dancing for 40 days and 40 nights, stopping only for an occasional piece of cheese. Or a five minute nap. She will now accept a prize for saving the world by dancing. Angelina! Angelina! You probably oh. won't be staying up all night, but you will need this permission slip to stay up late for a good cause. I think our good cause needs a good DJ. But you are an AZ, not a DJ. DJ stands for disc jockey. They select and play music on the radio and at parties. I will be non-stop hip-hop because nighttime is the right time. I'm going to make a pink cheese sculpture as big as my house. <laughs> You'll need a lot of cheese. <laughs> Maybe you should sculpt something a teeny bit smaller, Angelina. And less smelly. Look, everyone. Wow. This is a painting by Cheddar Dega, a very famous artist. Did Cheddar Dega like to dance? He wasn't a dancer, but Dega used dance as inspiration for his work. You mean he painted the dancers from real life? Mm-hmm. He observed dancers in ballet class and created beautiful paintings. Because dancers are beautiful. Très belle. I would just love to be a painter like Cheddar Dega. A fabulous idea, Vicky. You mean I could? Of course. Art takes practice, just like ballet. But if you use your imagination, the sky's the limit. Does that mean everything can be pink? Even the sky. Art can be anything you want it to be. Just remember to be creative and have fun. I promise to use my imagination. And I promise to have tons of fun. Would you care to dance at this magnificent ball? The lords and the ladies have come one and all. From here it is clear while we dance and we sing. We can be anything. I imagine I'm the captain of a ship on the seas where adventure is waiting for me. A prima ballerina is all I've ever wanted to be. I love to lay in the grass and gaze at the sky, finding shapes in the clouds as they float by. Today I'm a painter, tomorrow a spy, maybe one day. We can be anything. I'm going to paint a picture of ballet dancers, just like Cheddar Degas. So, I'll need some dancers to pose for my painting. Hmm, where could I find some? I know one dancer you could use. And I know one too. The Metropolitan Museum proudly unveils its newest masterpiece, the Angelina. Angelina! And 
Angelina. Oh, um... <laughs> now, you two have to stay really still. No problem. Of course. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> uh -oh. My models have the giggles and the jiggles. Wow, Vicky. You're a real artist. Miss Mimi gave me the art supplies. This is an easel. It holds the canvas. And here is the most important part, the paint. You sure you have enough pink? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, pose like this. Tondu. Tondu is too easy. But it's so beautiful. How about if I do an arabesque instead? And I'll do a passe. I don't think that's such a good idea. But why? You might get tired. Don't worry, we can hold these poses forever, right, Gracie? <laughs> Absolutely. All done. <laughs> my, my, Marco. What do we have here? My project for the art show. I've always wanted a blue base. <laughs> it sounds like your artwork has inspired your music. Yeah, a blue song is a cool song. I think our art show could use some blue bass music. Can you play that tune on the real bass? You bet! <laughs> Wait! You know what always makes me feel like spring? Rounders! Why don't we all play? Huh? Uh, but you said we can't play outside with snow on the ground. We could play inside. Oh no! My mum has very strict rules about not playing ball games in the house. I'm not talking about playing real rounders. We can play pretend rounders. <sighs> See, this is my imaginary ball And we can swing imaginary bats Like this one mm. And we can run around imaginary bases Exactly Fantastic This could be our imaginary rounders field The couch will be first base The chair is second base this is third. <laughs> and this is fourth base. I'll be the bowler. I'll bat first. Angelina, you're on my team. Gracie, you take field position. Better move out of the way, because I'm going to hit a rounder. Oh, you think so? <sighs> run, Marco, run! <sighs> yes! Looks like you only made it to first base. My turn! Slugger Angelina is up to bat. Oh no! It's heading out of the park! Eggs! We do that every spring and it's always lots of fun! 
Yes, it will feel just like Easter. My friend Pavel says that in Moscow, Russia, they decorated eggs before there even was Easter. Really, truly? Yes, it's to celebrate how the world comes back to life in the spring. Oh, you know a lot of mouselings from a lot of different places. And in Mausico City, Mexico, they hollow out eggs, fill them with confetti and crack them over someone's head to surprise them. I don't want anyone cracking an egg over my head. Well, how about if we dye hard-boiled eggs? I think we have some in the kitchen. Oh! Camembert Academy! Dad! It's so, so beautiful! This is great! But it's a lot bigger than my old school. Hi! Are you new? Welcome to Camembert. I'm Vicky. This is Marco. <laughs> You're going to be in our class. Have a great day with your new friends, Angelina. <sniffs> Mum and Polly will be waiting for you after school. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Dad. Come on, let's go and meet Gracie. Gracie, look! We found the new girl. Hi, I'm Gracie. I'm Angelina. Is it true that at this school you get to dance every day? Every single day. And on the first day of school, all the new kids get to dance or sing or play music right here. <gasps> wow, what a stupendous stage. We call this the lunchtime theatre. Because it's a theatre where anyone can get up and perform while we eat lunch. Sign up. You can be the first new student to dance today at lunchtime. And when you finish, you'll get a red rose. A red rose? Wow, I can't wait! Oh! You're going to love it here, Angelina Mouseling! Wait a minute! How did you know my last name? Our dance teacher, Miss Mimi, told us all about you! Finally, I'm going to meet Miss Mimi! Good morning, Miss Mimi! Good morning, children! Oh, it's happening! I'm about to meet Miss Mimi. Uh-uh. These flower boxes are supposed to go outside. You can stay here and dance. Oh! oh. I'll see you at lunchtime. Oh, oh, oh! Oops. Don't worry. My cousin's just like you. She's clumsy. But I'm always nice to her. <laughs> That was, um, a new ballet move. A grand tummy twirl. I was just trying it out. Oh, I've done ballet before. I used to take ballet too. Oh, what kind of music is that? You've never heard Celtic music? It's from Ireland. No. I'm playing so Vicky can practice. My Irish step dance. because you can do it in a really small space. Even on a tabletop. Want to try it with me? Um, I only know how to do ballet. Mm, I've got to get my bag. First I fall on my face in front of everybody. And then I'm the only one who wants to dance ballet. I'm beginning to think I'll never, ever feel at home at Camembert. Come on, Angelina. As soon as Grace is finished, it will be your turn to dance. Oh! How can I just do ballet after she does that? And now, your turn. Go on, Angelina. You've still got time before lunch. 
What music should I play? I'm a pretty good accompanist. <gasps> um, not classical music. Something more jazzy. More like what Vicky does. Uh, okay. Um, and what uh... Gracie does. Gosh, it's hard to play along with that dance. Oh, it's not your fault. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh. Oh. So tomorrow is Lend a Poor Day. It's a day where you help someone out who really needs it. So I want you all to split into groups and find someone you can help out. Yes, Angelina. Some of us could help Mrs. Thimble at the store. She's hurt her wrist. Yes, and I heard her say she had lots to do in the shop this weekend. I'll help too. Perfect. That's one very good Lend a Poor project. Now. Oh, oh, oh sorry I'm late, Miss Mimi. Hmm. Oh, I I've been learning about disco dancing. Hmm. Oh, it's the best thing ever! <laughs> Where did you hear about disco dancing, Gracie? Oh, I saw it in an old film at the weekend. <laughs> I love it. Ah, it's good that you found a new form of dance, but you mustn't let it get in the way of being on time for school. I was just telling everyone about Lend a Paw Day. Don't worry, Gracie. You can join us. We'll tell you all about it at lunchtime. So, that's the plan. We'll meet at Mrs. Thimble's store as soon as it opens. Mrs. Thimble is going to be so happy. And maybe we can do some disco too. Disco music is great. You know it came from jazz and rock. Oh, and Latin music too. It's got a really strong, steady beat, so it's easy to dance to. Please, can Vicky and Gracie sleep over? Please, please! Oh, Angelina, are you sure a sleepover is a good idea? Why not? Well, for one thing, they shouldn't even be called sleepovers, because nobody ever sleeps. We will sleep, I promise. Also, your dad is out of town and not here to watch you girls. We won't need to be watched, I promise. And you have an important rehearsal tomorrow morning for the big performance at school. That's when I get to do a very tricky double pirouette. Forget there's the carnival tomorrow, of course. That's why we must finish our hats. Please, Mum. We'll be fast asleep by nine, I promise. Well, if it's okay with Gracie and Vicky's parents. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's 
Just for tonight, Mum. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> All the mums said yes. Mm. Tonight is going to be the best sleepover in the history of Mouseland. Can I help you make your hat, Angelina? Okay, Polly. You can glue. Okie dokie. Polly! The glue goes on the hats, not on the table. Whoops. Sorry, Angelina. <sighs> Our hat making has turned into a sticky situation, so we're taking a break to practice. Ta da! A pas de chat. That means a cat step. Ta-da! A pas de cheval. That means a horse step. Whoa, whoa! Ta-da! A pas de poly. That means a poly step. Oh! oh. Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And Alice is going to be my assistant. Oh, goody. Two teachers. I'm going to learn really fast. That's the plan. The Angelina Mouseling Royal Academy of Ballet is now officially open. There are five positions in ballet. This is first position. Your feet look funny, like a frog. Ribbit. <laughs> it's called turnout. Start like this for now. This is second position. Wider second, Polly. Third. Fourth. Turn out, remember? This is too hard. But turning out makes you look graceful to the tips of your toes. How about turning in? Like a pigeon. Get it? That's not funny, Polly. Get back to the bar and do first position again. But I'm tired. We just started. Polly, where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Angelina. We'll try again tomorrow. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm learning to play the castanets. Did you know that Spanish dancers hold castanets in their hands and click them as they dance? You're cheating, Marco. You're not holding them in your hands. My hands aren't quite big enough yet. This helps. It's a castanet machine. It doesn't look like any machine I've ever seen. Uh, it's not really a machine. It's just castanets attached to this block of wood. See? They can click really fast and play cool rhythms. 
under one, two, three. Whee! Yes! Under one, two, three. Whee! Yes! And plie. There. Now I just need to make my gingerbread house and I'm ready for Dance Like a Cake Day. Add eggs to the sugar and the flour. Blend until light and creamy. What kind of cake are you making, Angelina? I'm making a gingerbread house that goes with my dance. But Hansel and Gretel didn't live in a gingerbread house. I know that, Polly. But the witch locked them up in her gingerbread house. But they tricked her in the end and ran away. I get it. A birthday dance would match a birthday cake. Where was I? Did I add the eggs? And a football cake would go with a football dance, wouldn't it, Angelina? And a Christmas cake would go with a Christmas dance. Mum, my gingerbread cake is ready to go into the oven. OK, Angelina, it won't be long. I can't wait. Angelina, your cake is ready. <laughs> Watch out, girls, it's hot. <gasps> oh, no! I'll never be able to make a gingerbread house out of that. Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angelina. What am I going to do now? Why don't you go and see how your friends are getting on while I try and work out what went wrong with your cake? Okay, Mum. Is this it? Nope. What about this one? Not there yet. <laughs> it's this one. That's right. How did you know, Angelina? I could tell by all the musical instruments in the window. That's what a music shop sells, right, Dad? That and a lot more. Hi, Mrs Thimble. Hi, Angelina. Looks like we're neighbours now. We sure are. I just hope I won't be hearing a lot of loud music. My ears are very sensitive. Don't worry, Mrs Thimble. If our music is ever too loud, just let me know, all right? I certainly will. Welcome to Mouseland Music. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this, Daddy? That's an electric bass. Can I try it? Mm, you can hardly hear it. You can when you turn on the amplifier. <gasps> An electric keyboard. This needs to be turned on too, right, Dad? That's right. Try it. It can sound like many different instruments. A piano, an organ, even bells. Amazing! 
And here's a present for each of you to keep. <gasps> Recorders. Like the ones we play at school. <gasps> Thank you, Dad. Takes a lot of practice to play the recorder. What's all this stuff, Dad? These are replacement parts for instruments, like extra strings. Mrs. Thimble used to sell them, but she only had room for a few. We have many more different kinds. What are these little dots, Daddy? That's music. Eh? These are called musical notes, and they tell the musician which sounds to play. Oh, this is absolutely, positively the most stupendous music shop in the world. Let's celebrate with a party. A grand opening party. So stupendous, everyone will want to come to Dad's shop. Maybe we could throw a little party for all the neighbours. Yes, and I could ask some of my friends to play music. Great idea. Leave it all to me. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be my partner in the showcase tomorrow. It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap! Or a cartwheel! <laughs> Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh, okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Mum. Thank Mom. you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So... We, we can, can dance, dance and dance! Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with the partner showcase ever. Because I have the best partner ever. Attention, dancers. Marco will be my helper today. Don't forget. All dancers in the Dance with a Partner Showcase must have a partner. Vicky's going to be my partner. Gracie and I are going to do a hip-hop dance, Miss Mimi. I'm dancing ballet with Alice, my absolutely, positively best friend from where I used to live. Wow! Alice is coming to the showcase. Yes? Have you and Alice been practising? Yes, a lot. I did some really fancy choreography for our dance. Well, we didn't plan ours. We make up new moves as we go along. <laughs> hey, it's fun! <gasps> Stupendous! We just dance with the music. It's called improvising. We use steps we know, but we don't plan the order. So our dance is a little bit new and different each time. <laughs> don't you want to improvise too, Angelina? I don't think so. You and your partner did a wonderful job in the showcase, Angelina. Congratulations! <gasps> Thank you, Miss Mimi. Your choreography was brilliant! And thank you, Angelina. We did all the steps just like you said to. And we didn't make any mistakes. Hooray! Angelina! 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 <gasps> I can't find our music, please.
player and we need it for our showcase dance. I have an extra player at my house. I'll lend it to you. Oh, thank you, Angelina. Thank you. Mum? I've got a letter from my old school friend, Bree. And look, she's put in a photo. Who are all those mouselings? It's us when we were at school. It's our marching band parade. What's a uh, marching band parade? <laughs> parade, Polly. <laughs> For us, it was when we used to march down the street in lines while playing instruments. But we used to march to the beat of the music. <gasps> Sounds like fun! I'd love to march in a parade. That was the best marching band parade ever! And it's all thanks to you, Angelina! 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 <gasps> Angelina! Angelina! What is it, Polly? I want to march too. <laughs> okay then. Remember, you have to do what I tell you. to march with me. Angelina, time for school. 